Think about that, by the way. There's three EA shooters on that list, and there's four, in the same span as what three or four CODs. Yeah. How many? Yeah. How many CODs to EA shooters? What's the ratio? All right. Let's see. So that's one. I, well, we already know there's five COD shooters. So then we but have like, like from like from Battlefield we have One battle, all the way so we to have Titanfall battle, Two. So we have Battlefield One. Then we have Battle Battlefront. Then we have Titanfall, Titanfall two. two. But you know, any other EA shooters? Battle, or is that Battlefield Four three? is up here. Oh yeah, Battlefield Four. I forgot about that turn. Any other? So it's those four, and from that, and then, and in that chunk, or is there? Yeah, but check is this there out. any others? Yeah, but check this out. That's not even. Yeah. Those are four EA games. Those are there's just their shooters. We also got uh Madden oh, seventeen and go. sixteen, and we got. Well, FIFA. I was just saying, I was just saying, like compared from from Battlefield one to Battlefield four, how many CODs are there? Um, let's see. So, if we're comparing apples to apples, Battlefield one is it beats it comes before the first cod game then we have one two uh two infinite COD bullshit games. and modern warfare one yeah then we have two cod games ahead before, of the other yeah before the other, the other two. three okay oh yeah that was three so there's probably more people playing cod than ea games at this time at night where it's just kind of like just either dudes chilling or dudes have no life so us, <laughs> yeah. So people like us. Uh, so, I mean, there's I don't know. There's something to be said there. I'm just saying, but they're EA's gaining ground on them. Uh, is there any other like developing standouts? Like, but when you factor in that Activision diversified with Destiny is also up there on that list, and Blizzard, Overwatch, if you want to be technical, is under Activision branch. Then it's not even fair. But if you want to compare COD to EA shooters, first title, AK Dice, and uh, Trey what the fuck the other guys. No, 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 Trey Dice Arc. and uh, uh, no, the other EA developer. No, oh. Respawn. So oh, Respawn yeah. and Dice versus uh, Activision's top three. Mm-hmm. Or, no, no, top two would be Treyarch and Infinity Ward. So if yeah. you take Treyarch and Infinity Ward and you push them against Dice and Respawn, then that and then that's how you end up with those two. No, that's a proper way. That's how I'm gonna put it in the title. That's gonna be lit. Right. Uh, as far as who's playing more at this time. But what's the takeaway from that? Hey, it, it's a like EA's um, gaining ground on COD. Yeah, yeah. Or By, or yeah, EA, or Activision diversified. I, I think um, EA is gaining gr- ground on COD when you compare apples to apples. If you go game for game, EA is gaining ground. But if you're taking like um, Activision but, I mean, as but a that's whole, only if you don't count. EA, yeah, but I mean. Um, like, I mean, Activision it's complicated because, like, uh, Activision got a lot of I ammo, argue, man. <laughs> I want to argue COD's dying, but I mean, argue, the numbers Activision can argue. Different. No, we're letting COD die, and we're just diversifying and telling COD players to go play Destiny and, and Overwatch, and they are. So it's it's complicated. Like, 